Is this cross an idol? Is it a graven image? Well, let me ask you a question. Do you worship this cross? Do you bow down unto it? Is this cross your God? Well, if it is, then yes, this is an idol. And people like to cite the second commandment in Exodus 20 to say that all graven images are idols, including crosses and even a statue or a cross necklace that you might wear or anything else. And here's the verse that they use. Exodus chapter 20, verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. And they stop right there. And if you read just that, it sounds like we shouldn't have any crosses or any statues or anything that has engravings on it even that's, that's etched out of wood. But the fact is that they're misinterpreting and misusing this verse. Because if you notice, at the very end of chapter uh, 20, verse 4, there's a colon. That sentence hasn't been completed. They're reading an incomplete sentence and jumping to a conclusion. Well, let's read that entire passage. In fact, starting at verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. That sets the stage, the context for what this passage is talking about. Verse four, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. And then there's a colon there. That sentence is not finished. And we go to verse five, which completes the rest of that thought. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So we see that the context of the passage on graven images in the second commandment is not the graven images themselves. It's worshiping them. So unless you're worshiping that cross, it's not a sin and it's not a graven image in terms of what the Bible considers a graven image. We see the same thing reiterated in Deuteronomy 5. It says almost the exact same wording. And then we see this again reiterated in Leviticus 26 verse 1. It says, you shall make you no idols nor graven image, neither rear you up a standing image, Neither shall you set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am the Lord your God. So there's a condition there. It's to bow down unto it. It's to worship it. So if you'd like to wear a cross, if you'd like to hang up a cross on your wall, perfectly fine for the Christian to do. But the, the issue that we run into is that there are religious people and people who over-literalize, and not even over-literalize, they misunderstand the Bible. They're not reading the entire context, and they jump to conclusions. You know, some people are more interested in finding out what's pagan and studying all the pagan history and all the pagan religions instead of just simply studying the Bible and reading it within its context. So, to conclude, having a cross is not a sin, and it is not an idol, unless you are literally worshiping it. That cross is ultimately a representation of what Jesus did for us on the cross. And as long as we understand that, then it is simply a symbol of our faith.